how do we make videos on Into the Race? All right, we still haven't had a, a tide come in on my playthrough, so we're just gonna, we're gonna beeline it to where we have to go. Yep, we're gonna beeline it. All right, let's go. I like just got back into this game too, and I love this game, it's so fun. It's so scary and challenging and awesome. Oh, shit. I bet I, I, bet I could take this thing out like this. Ah, oh, fuck you! That hurt. I think I'm on the hardest difficulty. Settings. Yeah, realistic. Okay, that's what it's called. Alright, let's go. I believe there's a... Oh, shit. Thank God. These are so rare. Oh fuck, that's where I need to go. One of the places, I think. Ow! Ow, fuck! Ah. Ah. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh, shit. Ah. Jesus Christ. I'm not used to this game yet. <laughs> yeah, I think survival games are definitely my my favorite. The thing about survival is that oh fuck sakes. You can mix it with other games, you know? Like you can properly mix the survival with like a shooter or something like that. Yeah, if you can mix survival with like other genres of games and like do it well, it makes for like the, the greatest game experience ever. The game always reminded me of uh, Silent Hill and Stalker, essentially. It's scary. I need a cigarette. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Is he spawned back? 
Can't wait to upgrade from the macro. They have an AS Val in this fucking game. Ah! Is there what? Is there something bringing them back to life? What the hell is going on here? <laughs> oh! The distance is nuts. <laughs> I'd say. A massive robin. Ah! Fuck! over here. Oh, I can hear it. That's yeah, there. I gotta get this thing before a uh, tide comes in, too. I haven't had one yet on my playthrough. Smokes. I'm a chain smoker, guys. Just can't help it. What else can I find? Let's loot. Food, of course. Jesus. Open up a grocery store here. I'm so scared. Can't see those in the dark. Oh, fuck. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Should I turn my light off or something? What's going on? <laughs> uh.
please grab the right thing. I'm in the toilet. This is where I hide when I'm the most scared. Holy crap, I think they saw my light or something and they all freaking came at me. Explorers, this is a friendly reminder from the UNPSC not to attempt to leave the Victorisk Exclusion Zone, as demarcated by the electric fence surrounding the site. We deeply regret the necessity of this measure, taken for your own protection, as well as for the protection of anyone attempting to enter the zone. Exposure to radiation and he other after zone, copyright have made the world outside the Exclusion Zone it's gonna toxic get for those who were in close proximity to the asteroid strike. Every survivor who left the exclusion zone before the area was cordoned off died within hours, despite the best efforts of the UNPSC medical specialists. No medications or surgical interventions, not even the creation of controlled environments, succeeded in slowing the deterioration of organ function in those unfortunate survivors of the event. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm gonna find this stupid thing. It's over here somewhere. Got it. Finally. Jeez, this mission was hard. Yeah, this game is ridiculous. Can you believe I did my first playthrough? I got to the factory and I thought, nah, I'm not into this game. But after playing Stalker and stuff and like finding out what this game was about, like how you're supposed to play it, what the vibe of the game is, and how you're supposed to experience it, I'm like, it's like one of the best games. Play. Fuck, that was so scary. Look at that guy. You get night vision in this game? I don't think you do. Oh, fuck off. I gotta get out of here. I gotta go get that other mission. I think I, I skipped it. There he is. Headshot, bitch! Sorry, I get a little animated sometimes. Especially in this game when I'm like frightened to death. Maybe if I don't have my flashlight, that'll be better. a little bit. Can't see anything, god damn it. You, you literally have to survive with a goddamn macro. That's how terrible this game is. Alright, we got the flare up. Let's just get the hell out of here. See, I think I missed this mission over here. It's in between it. It's by a lake. I gotta go grab that. I do have a double barrel. Just when it runs out of ammo. When you panic fire and miss your shots, you're fucked. <laughs> Wait, that's where my hideout, that's where a hideout is. Oh yeah, it's over here, I think. It's by a lake. Oh, here we go. I think this is where it is. Is this the smaller lake or is this the bigger one? I don't know. I'm like in the middle of an anomaly field right now. Toadstools all over the town place. Where did all those beach rooms go? Got a bucket of them here last year. I don't know where to go. I think it's here. What the hell even is this mission? A trip on an anomaly. Where are you? Samples continue. So there's two light. Oh, here's the smaller one. Ah, here's another dead scientist. <gasps> we found it. We got it, guys. 
Okay, we got the samples container. Now we gotta do one more thing. We gotta go to this anomaly site here and then collect a uh, an artifact. And I think I know where that is, so. You know, better guns man this is bullshit uh do you want the long story or do you want the short story about what this game is about it's gonna be a long stream so i got time long okay nobody fully knows why this area is the way it is Back in 1972, there was a book. It was a science fiction book. Oh, fuck me. It was written in Russia in 1972. Science fiction novel. And the novel is called Roadside Picnic. I didn't even have a soul I could slash after that. So novels uh, called Roadside Picnic, and the setting it actually takes place in Canada, funny enough, but it's not really even about that. It doesn't even matter. Basically, what happened is there's these visitations that happen by extraterrestrials. So aliens visited the Earth in seven or six different locations around the, around the planet, and each of these locations uh, were they were remote. They were by very, you know, rural towns, and one of them was in Canada, right? So, anyway, during this visitation, it happened over over a period of two days. Um, no one actually made contact with those aliens, because, you know, it was so in the middle of nowhere when it was happening. You know, I think in the story, some people saw it happen, but they were too scared to, to know what the hell was going on. But anyway, so two days later, aliens leave. No one made contact with these aliens. And they left behind these crazy zones, these areas. Basically, these, these kilometer radius areas like this. Like, very trippy, fucked up things are happening. Anomalous, like, events are happening. Just strange, strange, unexplainable things. And in the book, it explains that it, it's, it shows a likeness to... Like, say, say, you ever have a picnic or you go camping with your family? essentially it shows a likeness to something like that so say you go camping with your family right and you go into the middle of, of the forest and uh 
and you set up shop and you know you pl start playing music and you start a fire and you you know are, are you know eating food and just doing whatever right um, so in this analogy basically the animals that watch you guys do this out on this picnic or this this uh, this excursion with your family the animals basically stare out from you like they stare out from their hiding places at you not knowing what the fuck's going on they're just terrified right they don't they don't they can't comprehend what's happening what you're doing out there right so in the, in the morning when you guys leave and you pick up and you leave the animal the animals will come out and, and investigate right you know potentially dangerous things they don't know what you left behind you know you could have left behind you know ashes from the fire you know fl flowers that were picked from a meadow from another meadow nearby like a fire poker and like you know all the all the garbage and shit you know candy wrappers like just random stuff beer bottles like whatever whatever it is right so basically in the book it is an analogy for the visitors these aliens that came to earth and that we were the animals looking out at this at this picnic at this unexplainable event that we don't understand what's happening. Why were they here? We'll never know. Why did they leave these anomalous things? We, we don't know. It's something that's incomprehensible to us as humans because aliens are so advanced that we would never understand it. So it's the same as like the animals seeing candy wrappers and, and, burnt, and burnt embers and, and you know, your, your pocket knife or whatever, your tools laying around. This would be the same as us coming to this place where aliens visited right so essentially I, I don't know what this game is about specifically i know it's based off of that story but i don't know exactly what happens in this game and i'm trying to figure it out i'm trying not to like look at like what the hell is going on so essentially a visitation happened i think we're in russia this is the setting in russia so this is where a visitation happened something unexplainable happened here and stopped happening and left whatever we're having here so these these anomalies right so essentially people come to this zone to to study it so in the original story these zones that were left one of them the the zone that the book describes is in canada right it's a it's a large you know kilometer by kilometer radius zone and it leaves what you're seeing right here so these are these anomalies that you're seeing they're called anomalies because they defy physics so they're they're they go against physics if you touch them, they're very dangerous they can kill you because they're they, you know gravity you know distorts it it you know some of them some of them peer into a four-dimensional reality like they're just random laws against physics and these could have been left behind by these visitors that were here right so the army quarters off these visitation zones they want to study them for themselves plus they're dangerous they don't want people going inside of them. but the thing about these zones the thing about these zones is that these aliens or whoever visited them that caused us in the first place left artifacts now these artifacts do things these artifacts have like like healing properties they do they do essentially magical things essentially things that pe they can give you like powers right so people hear about this people understand that there's something going on that these artifacts have like supernatural powers essentially or science very highly scientific powers so people know about this so all around the world people understand the rumor is that these artifacts are very valuable you can make a lot of money collecting them so there's these people called stalkers right and so they trespass into the zone they find ways into the zone by burping under the army barricades into the areas they find ways into the zone and what stalkers are and their, their description is is um they're basically people that trespass into the zone and take part of an illegal enterprise of finding these artifacts and selling them for money like a lot of money you can make good money so that's why people are getting interested in the zone have you ever seen district nine i think district nine's kind of based off of that story too the aliens visit except in district nine they never left they're they're stranded there happening is stalkers what they're called stalkers which is a common phrase in Russia for people who trespass starving aren't I Some cigarettes again. so these stalkers enter the zone to find these artifacts this is what I'm looking for this is an artifact detector 
and it's all usually in a cluster of these physical anomalies, right? Physics, physics-based anomalies. So. Well, I can see the... So essentially, this is an artifact, and you can't see the artifact, so you have to, like, you have to track them with the artifact tracker. And so, basically, stalkers, they go into these zones, and they look for these artifacts, and that's generally the story. There's not too much else, like, there's a lot of other shit in the story, but that's the general premise of it, if you understand. Do you understand anything I'm saying? Yeah, this game is insanely good. I actually, it's crazy that I didn't like it when I first played it. And so the stalkers are here to look for artifacts, um, but the zone is a place of controversy, you could say. Obviously, uh, aliens visited, and some, and they left these unexplainable anomalous events here with these unexplainably powerful artifacts. But the final breakdown. There's one. It's an artifact. So, I can go sell this for money now. Oh shit, I think there's another one here. But, so the story gets really complicated. Essentially, the zone, or the, the radius, as you could call it, is a place basically has a lot of controversy. People want to study it, people want to destroy it, people want to control it. There's there's all these factions of different people, like the, you know... Oh. Just got a double whammy. So there's a bunch of factions of people with different interests in, um, involving the zone. You know, there's people that are religious fanatics that think the zone should be destroyed because of its because they look they see it as an abomination. There's people that want to worship the zone. Another religious fanatic cult. They worship it in hopes that aliens will return or the visitors will return somewhere, right? There's other factions that want to study the zone to gain some sort of advantage over their international neighbors, right? They want a technological advantage because these zones are all over the world, so other countries have the ability to study them. You know, there's all sorts of different factions and reasons for them being there, so it causes a lot of, essentially, a war zone with proxy issues and and conflicts and all sorts of things have so you can choose to align yourself with these factions you know work against them whatever you think is best it's the big orange round thing in the sky nobody knows that could be the main thing that was left behind by the visitors and i'm trying to figure that out in this game specifically Okay, so we haven't had a tide yet, so there shouldn't be enemies here. Man, I had enough of these halls. Work it and work it. So in this game, overtime. people who live in the zone essentially no. can't leave it, or else they die. That's how the world works, Vasilich. Regular work, Too time bad. walking. Yeah, okay. All right, I gotta get back to the hideout because we, we got every mission. If you ever watched the movie Stalker back, like I think it's a movie that was released in the '80s. By the way, the director of that movie was his name was Andre Tarkovsky. Tarkov. Pretty cool, right? So Tarkov is based off of the Stalker games as well. But yeah, Stalker has basically influenced like many of the apocalyptic type media that we see today. I don't think I have to do this every time. It's just immersive. All right, we did it, guys. Completed three missions in one go, one excursion. There it is. <laughs> All right, I think we're good.